Now, for instance, my friend Myron and we went out to church together was having premarital sex, Sheena, with his girlfriend Allery in his truck or car, right? We we didn't see this, but we believe him he did, <laughs> right? But he's going out to church with us, though a Southern Baptist, I guess, right? But unless you tell me, Sheena, I'm waiting for marriage, how am I to know? <laughs> If I know my friend Byron and me are willing to have sex with a female before marriage, okay, and you're a female I'm dating and you don't tell me I'm waiting for marriage, I can have sex with you unless you say so. Oh, no. That's my goal. I'm a male trying to reproduce with a female. Mm -hmm. If you want to look at it scientifically as well. Mm -hmm. Other than religiously too. Right. Now, that's what I mean. Some of my friends went out to church, too, right? And I've been out to a Pentecostal-type church, but my pastor was wanting to jerk off with his units. And, and the pastor in charge of that was telling me about that. <laughs> and he got caught on 2022, and some of the sellers were coming forward about it. So excuse me if I didn't quite know what you wanted, but all you would have had to do is tell me. <laughs> I'm not a mind reader, Sheena, but I was reading your body language that day we made love. <laughs> Instead of oral sex, I was wrong. <laughs> or was I right? <laughs> and see, nothing is rape. <laughs> no one's going to tell you their whole life in a day they meet you. <laughs> they can't. You took a chance on me. I took a chance on you, too. <laughs> Take a chance, 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 take a chance. She all alone, and the party but has flown, but I'm still free. Take a chance on me. See, I'm the kind of person, I'll entertain you, I'll be a good boyfriend to you, and we'll have a good old time. All day long, all day long. And I don't really get upset a lot unless you're doing something sneaky. And even then, I'm wanting you to make a choice. Well, either stay with me or break up with me. Go on, bitch. <laughs> like with Mary Bell. <laughs> Be with me or don't. <laughs> you know, you're not going to help our situation none if you keep acting like you can't commit. <laughs> and won't commit. I'm just going to think you want your ex-boyfriend more than me and give up. Because <laughs> I don't know you love me. <laughs> Having sex will be anyone can do that. <laughs> Yeah, I could have had sex with the upstairs neighbors a time or two, <laughs> but I didn't try. I didn't try. <laughs> and if I did, like I said, the boyfriend had a damn ninja sword, would have to kick, kill me with it. <laughs> Where I don't know. Where you don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. But then only he would know, or the girlfriend knew she was fucking me, but I don't know I was fucking her, right? And I'm not trying to fuck her, I'm trying to stay faithful to you. <laughs> So she would have to come on to me real strong, even though I'm saying, I got a girlfriend named Mary Bell, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and the only reason, okay, she would still fuck me anyway is what, Mary Bell? She would have to be on top. <laughs> right, and she wouldn't want that. <laughs> I don't know what even happened, but... <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> I'm not trying to fuck her, though. But what if she's trying to fuck me? <laughs> what can I do about it? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> but tell her I got a girlfriend. I'm trying to stay faithful to her. To her. <laughs> and I'm trying to wait for her. Mm -hmm. And I would tell her all that. But <laughs> her boyfriend ain't there. Mm -hmm. You ain't there to stop her from fucking me. <laughs> and she can fuck me. Because, see, I'd also tell her, well, you're beautiful. If I didn't have a girlfriend, I would be with you. I'd make love to you all night long. Right? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't lie to her. <laughs> I wouldn't try to be with her, but I wouldn't resist her if she wanted to be with me. Do you understand? You can't. I can't. <laughs> now, I would tell her no. But that don't mean... <laughs> She didn't know that moment, yes, <laughs> if I wasn't with you anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't know I was even with her. 
That would be because of the boyfriend with an eating disorder. <laughs> right? You see what I mean? But I'm not trying to be with her either, either. I'm trying to respect our relationship over her. I mean, yeah, no. Uh oh. Living the moving creatures. An ancient Greek. An ancient Greek. <laughs> But see, if you're in a gaseous life form, you're not solid like you are here on Earth. That's why even the fairies, I know, can exist in heaven but not in the Earth because once you become solid, <laughs> you're bound by the same laws of nature that are going on now. Now, on day six, everything was very good. There was no evil. The fairies were fine. <laughs> After the fall... <laughs> They couldn't stay here anymore, idiot. <laughs> no, right. It don't mean they didn't exist. It means they left the earth and are now in heaven, idiot. Why do you think we have the myth of them anyway? I know. And they can leave or stay at any time, dumbass, right? They're something that can materialize and disappear in the first place. So no, they can. How do you think Adam was made? <laughs> Now, either he's the child of Christ or God made him as if he was Christ, but a man, right? That means he formed him as an adult, made him too. They started having sex to have children. And up until the seventh day, the seventh year after the seventh day began, right, they sent with well, Satan. They sent with well, Satan. And he lived 930 years after the sin, but that still don't mean that's the full day of the Lord either. If something is cut at least 10%, I know, or even down to 1%, that's still 120 years to the Lord, right? It might, could even be 12,000 years, and you don't know, and you don't know. It could be every uh, 84,000 years you're reborn, right? Well, you're in heaven or hell at that point, right? <laughs> Once you die here, I know. And see, what happens during the sixth day is my theory is every 25 years Adam and Eve would reproduce up until the seventh day. Right. And then they had at least four pairs of children, more, mm -hmm, with the children they had up until then, too. Right. And if it's 10 to 12,000 years for each day, right? Because we don't know the exact day, and the day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is a day, but it could be longer, too. Right. That's still a guess. That's still a guess. That too, though, is based on scripture from Moses and Peter. And how long Adam lived after the fall. 930 years. Right. That's 70 shy of a thousand years. Or is it? Or is it? If you sin in the seventh day, and the seventh day too is a thousand years, right? <laughs> it, day one wouldn't start until after the thousand years was over, dummy. <laughs> But you don't want to see it that way. <laughs> you know all. Oh, it was 24 hours, 7 days. Right. And what else? <laughs> How many days could that really be? <laughs> if it's also a year is as a day, right? that's really 1,001 year and a day. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> As simple as that. <laughs> and, okay, and if 10,000 years is a day, right there you have 11,101 day, or 11,000 years in one day, in one day. Just by that alone. So that's at least 11,000 years, right? Right there. Mm -hmm. Plus one day, plus one day. <laughs> and one year, and one year. <laughs> <sighs> you, do you see what I mean, right? And what else is a day? <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's how they calculated the rebirth of Israel almost to the day. I know. Right? right. And shall a nation be born in a day? Israel was. Israel was. And who birthed it, though? The British. The 
United Nations. That's who birthed Israel in the day that. Mm -hmm. Without the men, though, to support them, right, there would also be no new Israel. Oh, no. Do you understand? All right. Two there. Right. And the Muslims don't like the Israelites, but there again, they can't do nothing about it either. They're still now in history and a, a nation. All right. But see, we're we're almost we're still more than them. <laughs> the problem don't come when you're more than your enemy. It comes when your enemy is more than you. <laughs> I keep telling you that. <laughs> right. No matter who your enemy is, <laughs> if you have an enemy, a Satan, right? They're always going to be your Satan. They're just biding their time till there's more of them than there are you. <laughs> and that's any enemy. <laughs> Even if they're complacent in allowing you to do what you're doing, the reason is you're in power now. <laughs> right? <laughs> you won. You won. But a real enemy will come back in four more years. See, see. That's Trump's next plan. He still can serve another two, four years term, right? He ain't dead yet. <laughs> he can run again against you next time, Joe. <laughs> no. See, you're short-sighted. You're only trying to win this election, right? Well, you still got four years after where he can run against you again. <laughs> Are you being short-sighted or <laughs> thinking till the end? <laughs> See, that's why I say, Jesus says you got to endure to the end to be saved. You don't know when that is. You don't know when that is. You don't know the day of the hour of your departure from this earth, right? Though it's within the same 120 years Moses gave everyone in Genesis anyway. <laughs> Reducing it from 1,000 years to 120 years. But why is that? Typically, once we started dying, the oldest man, even Methuselah, only lived no more than 250 years in the, before he died. And he died around the time of the flood as well. Mm -hmm. That's what you don't hear. I know. <laughs> Shortly after he died, the flood came. And the flood came. Too. <laughs> but no one and his sons were preparing for it, for the Spirit of the Lord told them it was coming. Right. Now, even if it was a, the flood that flooded the Black Sea, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be a huge deal for the people at the bottom of the damn Black Sea. Now, again, <laughs> the Black Sea. <laughs> it was always the Black Sea, though. Mm -hmm. It became the Black Sea when the earth flooded. No. Now, all 40 days and 40 nights means is it rained a long time, hypothetically, anyway, I know. But what are they telling you also happened? What was different back then? They had geysers like... <laughs> What's that famous geyser here in America? That's what watered the earth, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. All over the earth, all over the earth. There were geysers. That's what word of the earth, if you read the Bible. <laughs> Tells you that too. No. But how did Moses in Egypt know about geysers? Right. That we have one here. Where? Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Mm -hmm. That's what used to water the earth, according to Moses. But he never seen one. Did he? No. How could he know about the geysers before we knew about geysers, right? Before we even saw one. No. It's called a word of knowledge from the Lord, right? The Lord knows how it watered the earth before the flood. <laughs> and that was two geysers, right? Read the Bible. <laughs> You're not reading it. It's all in there. <laughs> even that Satan was in Eden is in there, right? Itself. Herself. Herself. But you don't want to hear it. 
that you had sex with the flesh and blood representative of evil itself. Oh, no. Like Darth Vader being your father, <laughs> Satan's your father too. Right. Except, like Satan, you're given the same options as Satan. To either be the enemy of God or the friend of God like Jesus was. Oh, no. Right? <laughs> the servant is not above his master. Right. He told you that too. Oh no. But you're trying to lord with Satan. See, his sin is he won't serve and help out mankind. Right. He wants you to serve him and do his will. Mm -hmm. He plays God to you too. Right. When he's not God. Mm -hmm. He gets you to be more concerned about your flesh than your spirit as well. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> See, but all this is your imagination based on the what? Spider? Right. Looks like a mechanical spider to me. <laughs> Except this one has how many legs? Six? So is it a spider or is it an insect? <laughs> is it a beetle? <laughs> or a spider? Right. <laughs> see, see. That's your imagination, right? <coughs> mm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Some of my drink got in my throat. Mm -hmm. It's not COVID. It's not COVID. We don't all have COVID either. No. Mm -hmm. I know. Over 290 million don't even say they have it. <laughs> I know. Or haven't been tested yet for it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know either. No. But those who are tested for it do seem to have it. <laughs> or are you self-diagnosing yourself? <laughs> and you have it too, but it could also be older than you think it is too. It's the same symptoms as the flu or the cold. Oh, no. Now what's the difference between each? <coughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Do you see this soda is full of water? <laughs> I've been eating breakfast, I know. So what am I coughing? I got some of the water in my throat, right? <coughs> mm -hmm. But how can you tell the difference? It's in my windpipe right here, All right here. See? And I'm talking a little scratchy, right? <laughs> That's what that is. <coughs> what am I doing there? <coughs> Trying to get it out of your throat. Trying to clear my throat. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> Of the water that's kind of stuck in it a little bit. So. <coughs> it's how you do it. this out. <laughs> mm -hmm. It might even make your eyes tear. <laughs> that's what they mean though. <laughs> that's what Jesus means though. Mm -hmm. See another thing about adultery is. Even if you marry a woman. <clears throat> If she's not the one you're supposed to be with, how do you know? All right. You don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so again, I also took my medication this morning, right? <clears throat> to deal with congestive heart failure back in 09. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, right? I done been tested for COVID. Mm -hmm. 
How long ago? Mm -hmm. A few months ago. A few months ago, even. <laughs> so, if I have it, what kind of carrier am I? You don't know I have it, right? <clears throat> well, how do you treat for it? <laughs> you can't. It's a virus. It's supposed to run its course anyway. <laughs> And your body's develop immunity for it, or you'll be dead by now. <laughs> Damn. You understand that too? <laughs> Either it kills you too, or it don't. <laughs> Damn. Right, and you got 200,000 though. <laughs> to 300,000 who have died from it so far. Right? But how many have it, but aren't dying? <laughs> What's the number here? <laughs> Again, <laughs> so we got 242,000 who have died from it. It's still not as bad as they projected that. Mm -hmm. That's an educated what? Guess, guess. <laughs> the total cases is 10,569,558. Mm -hmm. But it's what? Growing, growing. <clears throat> Now, another thing, though, is unless World War III happens in the next four years, Trump can run in another four years. <laughs> he can serve, I mean, years two, two. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <clears throat> You're forgetting that, too. Because <laughs> I heard about it in the news this morning. <laughs> but do you think I'm talking about <laughs> the future? The future. And even if he loses, he can run another for you. Run another for you. So he dies till he does. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> that's a quote of a song. Right? And that's about dance until you die. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Buddy. <laughs> David. Dance until he. What? Getting dance no more. <laughs> But like I said, if you read the story of Bathsheba and David, you can see that in the pornographic video. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> You're lying. That's pornography in the Bible. Yes, it is. Written form. Written form. <laughs> see, pornography can also be written out. <laughs> now, you got a picture of the scene, though. <laughs> Put his head to the wall like a distant scream. He had a guitar. Just blew him away. Oh, no. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's the point. <laughs> it's the point. I'm just entertaining myself and show you how I entertain myself. And this is a long, too, right? <laughs> Don't mean I'll do it with a girlfriend <laughs> all day long, right? Oh, and she's cool with it, you understand, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just me entertaining myself throughout the day by myself. <laughs> but see, I'd be calmer with her. I'd be more respectful to how she feels about things and considers what she wants to do during the day, too. <laughs> and... If she wants sex all day, that's up to her. <laughs> She's less likely to get pregnant the more sex we have, too, but I'm a less sperm count, right? About takes as well. About takes as well. Ask Mary Bell. <laughs> She's still in denial. She's telling the truth at all. <laughs> Unless she's making up that story with Scott, too, which, like I said, I don't know that either. I don't know that either. But I gotta consider that possibility if she's that <laughs> against the boy being mine. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but who would have a problem with it? And why don't she want me to know? The carnal Mary Bell. The Mary Bell who would commit to me. The Mary Bell who signed to me. The Mary Bell who can't deal with it if it is my son. Right? Not Jane who was loving her and trying to be her boyfriend and dealing with the mental illness and told her as much. <laughs> Most mentally ill patients don't tell you they went to you at all. <laughs> no, they don't. Nope. <laughs>
So either I'm doing it like, hey, hey, <laughs> alcoholics so don't know, sorry. So you know what I'm dealing with is voices in my head, right? And I'm telling you the symptoms I have, right? I hear voices once in a while, more religious in content, right? Sometimes it's commanding, say here, go home, things like that, <laughs> right? <laughs> is that a crime? Is that, is, is the voices miss? Leading me and telling me to go home at a certain time. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> is the voices again. <laughs> Misleading me if they tell me to stay home. Stay here. Stay here. <laughs> not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> but what would be crazy. Go over to Matt's house and try to sleep with his girlfriend. You never do that no matter what she says, right? Now that's what I mean. That's what you mean. But she can come over here and see who me, Matt. <laughs> but she shouldn't. No, no. Don't mean I know she is. And if she, I don't know, she's not, right? You understand that, too. <laughs> it's what I mean. I'm not even trying to sleep with her. <laughs> Unless it's a thing now for her to come over here to me, right? <laughs> and you're interfering with my memory of it. And you know <laughs> she's been coming over here the whole time, right? I still don't know if he is or not, right? But you and her would know, and that's the point, right? <laughs> but if it is a sin, you're blotting it out, and that I don't know she's even with you, right? <laughs> if it's not a sin, and I don't, she's staying over there with you, I'm cool with that, too. <laughs> In fact, I would prefer her to stay with you rather than be with me because she's projected herself as being with you, not with me, right? <laughs> Same thing with Mary Bell. I would sooner her be with Bart <laughs> and go back to Bart fully than keep having sex with me where I don't know where I fit in, right? If she even wants me, right? That's what I'm saying, too. That's the song, right? You keep me hanging on. <laughs> Until I said, fuck it. <laughs> I ain't gonna hang on no more. Right? And by that time, okay... <clears throat> We do it one more time. Oh, no. <laughs> and who can't handle the truth? Scott or Mary Bell? Mm -hmm. Who's trying to divorce whom? Is Scott trying to divorce Mary Bell or is Mary Bell trying to divorce Scott? Right. See, I don't know, know that. I don't know, know anything. <laughs> and if she did divorce Scott, what happened to Patrick after that? I know he was real. She even, uh, <clears throat> let me kind of talk to him. I know. I saw a picture of him. He did look like he could be our baby. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Though I'm saying it sarcastically to her at the time. What, he don't look like us? <laughs> I don't know what to say to her. <laughs> She's the one denying it anyway by that time. <laughs> and does she have a reason to deny it? Sure. The fault, the fault. <laughs> But all it takes is one to get you pregnant. Even if you got a list of sperm count and you're considered infertile or <laughs> sterile, right? It still only takes one to reach the egg, right? <laughs> one healthy, viable sperm, right? So that means I got a low sperm count, but still might can get the ladies pregnant. So <laughs> if they what? Have sex with only you, only me, right? If you're fooling around with your boyfriend because he's fooling around with you and he's fooling around with me and you don't know, we need to go to Bart. <laughs> like I said, that's all you can do. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jerry, don't do it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Dr. Phil, don't do it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Who does do it? Uh, Maury. Maury. <laughs> so I mean, uh, now sometimes uh, Steve Wilco might do something like that. I don't know. But he's mainly into molesting kids or stuff like that, right? He's trying to deal with that in society, right? That's why I'm telling you a story, right? <laughs> First part of the story is I'm not in there with her and the mother. Where am I on the couch? Okay, Steve, if you're on the couch, how many times would you have to worry about waking up with the stepdaughter in there with you by herself? Zero, zero. <laughs> Not none. 
She's supposed to be in there with who all night long? Her mom. Her mom. <laughs> if you do see her in there with you, what is your job as a step parent? Get her back to her mom. All I said I would do. <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> First story I made up is the most logical, too. She's also got to wake me up, right? It's the easiest. I'm just going to couch. Yep. Yep. <laughs> no. So, how would she do that? Go over to you where you're sleeping on the couch and try to wake you up and try to wake me up. And if she's doing it near my face and not to wake me up, would her crotch be in my face? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. So am I lying about any of this making up, the making up part that I'm making up? No, no. <laughs> but I'm also telling you, if she did that, that would tell me one of two things. She needed help in some area, maybe going to the bathroom. See what I mean? <laughs> or <clears throat> she was coached to do that, to me. <laughs> or she was curious, or she couldn't wake up her mom to go to the bathroom herself, right? Right. What would that tell you if she was doing all that? <laughs> She was having problems waking up with her mom, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> and needed your help to do something <laughs> that she couldn't do with her mom at the time. <laughs> Dude, right? right? And again, <laughs> that's possible of how she could have done it, right? Do actually wake me up. The second way, like I said, is somehow I woke myself up and noticed she was in there with me by herself, too. Didn't see the mom in there with her either. <laughs> so I went over there to see what was going on, right? Does that sound crazy to you either, Steve? <laughs> and say I pulled down her panties because I thought she needed to go to the bathroom, right? Is that wrong? <laughs> no. If she's looking at me on the couch, right? Okay. And is it a crime if I pull down her panties and she don't go and she's been in the bathroom all night to check and make sure she didn't pee? Which would involve smelling her what area of a general area. But you don't what? Touch it. <laughs> you might even stick out your tongue <laughs> to distract her while you're trying to smell her, but you're still not going to what? Touch her. Right. <laughs> That's all I'm talking to this idiot about, and he won't get that either. <laughs> That's made up too. Right. It should have never happened. And the first sarcastic thing you asked him, well, what did I stick out my tongue and lick her one time, you think? <laughs> That's sarcasm there, too. Why? Because I'm referring to something. You know? I might get it done with her, but didn't do with her, but don't remember I did anything with her or not. You, you know, you know. And who are you to know? Only two people can know. <laughs> the person coaching her to come in there to me, or Daffy herself, or someone on base. Uh oh, that's three. I forgot. Because <laughs> I blacked out Steve on base, right? I'm also out for two weeks. <laughs> If I was to 